hold up. Damn, somebody get the cam. Looking so good, we should be on Instagram. I'm saying, somebody better Instagram this. I'm saying, somebody better Instagram this. Where the paparazzi at? Social media has its benefits and its risks. Our words and worlds are more deeply examined. We are now easier to access and more open to interpretation. The First Amendment gives us the right for people to express their opinions publicly without governmental interference and subject to the laws against libel. But it does not include the right to incite actions that would harm others or to make or distribute obscene materials. Take Ebony Dickens, for example. She expressed her opinion in anger towards white cops regarding past shootings on her Facebook page. She claimed that it was her right to post her plot to kill white cops. In result, the judge granted Dickens a $10,000 bond on a misdemeanor charge of dissemination of information relating to terroristic threats. In addition, she was banned from social media. Social media being so prevalent in our society today, it has become a debate as well as an issue of what is considered to be freedom of speech. The University of Tampa students share their input on freedom of speech on social media. I mean, definitely to a certain extent, I mean, it's our, it's our conscious all right to say whatever you want, but... You can't just go out there saying that you want to kill someone. That's inexcusable. These students explained what social media platforms they use most and if they should be allowed to post whatever they want on social media. I use Instagram, Snapchat, LinkedIn, um, Facebook, and Pinterest. I use Snapchat, Instagram, and recently I've been on Facebook quite a bit. I mostly use Facebook, um, and I'm a big Instagrammer. I have about four Instagram accounts for different businesses that I manage, but I find them very easy. It's like your free will. If you want to post something, you should be able to. I do think you should be able to post whatever you want on social media, but I do think you should filter and be like cautious about your posting because it can reflect you in a negative way or it can get you in trouble. As technology advances, the use of social media increases and has become the main medium for communication in our society. These students revealed what motivates social media users to post everything about their lives online. People feel the need to post everything on social media because a, a lot of people like a lot of attention these days. You know, like a lot of likes, you know, do it for the mind type stuff, I guess. Uh, a lot of people do it as well because uh, Somebody's telling them peer pressure, basically things like that, just to show everybody that they're better than everybody. You know? They want to be seen, um, and oftentimes I don't think it's realistic, so I think it's gotten a little excessive. Your sister's going to jail. Have a little compassion. Kim, would you stop taking pictures of yourself? Your sister's going to jail. <laughs> Kim, oh, we need the effect of the everyone on what we're doing, right? While Chloe's gone. Here, Kim, this one. Justine Sacco, a senior director of corporate communications at IAC, took to Twitter to tell her followers about her upcoming trip to Africa. What she thought was a harmless joke on Twitter resulted in being terminated from her job as well as becoming the most hated woman in America. Her infamous tweet raised the question whether freedom of speech applies to social media. Although it is our right to express our thoughts and opinions, is social media the best place to do it? The issue with expressing all emotions online is that it's there for everyone to see, even if you wrote something that you did not exactly mean. Christine Sacco is only one of the many people whose social media life resulted in termination from her job. A math teacher in Colorado, Carly McKinney, was also terminated from her position for her posts online. McKinney's web pages presented multiple cases of her misrepresenting herself personally as well as professionally. Students from UT shared their opinions on the effects of the internet on their professional life. Yes, I think they should portray how you're taken as a professional because if you have like a raunchy picture that you have on Facebook, but you're like a school teacher, it like reflects on like how you like view yourself kind of so I kind of feel like if you don't like respect yourself then like how you how are other people in like the professional field that's supposed to respect you a little bit. I am as a professional because they're my personal pictures however I definitely think that they do reflect who I am as a professional and like people need to be like aware of that when they post things. Yes I do because it's out there for everyone to see and it's reflecting upon who you really are. I don't think it should, but it, it definitely does, and there's no getting around that these days. So people should be aware of that and keep that in mind when posting. 
There have been many cases in which people have been fired as well as denied future employment due to their posts on social media. Brian Shaw, general manager at the Prep of South Tampa, shared with us an incident involving an employee on Facebook. We actually have. We had someone who got in an argument with someone on Facebook. Um, they went to his personal page and saw he worked here, uh, screenshotted it and sent it to me and we actually did have to let him go. The prep also looks into your personal life when reviewing job applications for future employees. Yes, um, we actually had someone in the final stages of the interview process. Uh, we checked his Facebook and his cover photo had him giving the middle finger um, and that ended up being the reason why we, we took his resume back and did not hire him. Social media has given rise to new issues in how we communicate and our freedom to do so. It is up to us to preserve the rights of everyone with freedom of speech. Damn, somebody get the cam. Looking so good, we should be on Instagram. I'm saying, somebody better Instagram this. I'm saying, somebody 